Like Jupiter, Saturn is a giant gas ball. Until now, its great distance from Earth has meant a lot of guessing for scientists who, with Voyager's help, have already discovered three new moons. They are also getting their first real look at its rings that have fascinated Earthlings since their discovery in 1781. We'll be studying the famous rings of Saturn. Herschel first discovered them in 1781, as though they were teacup handles. We're going to take a close look at them today and decide what they're made out of. Are they made out of ice-coated rock? Are they made out of solid pieces of ice? And how big are the pieces in those rings? Spitzer, who served as a deputy director for NASA's Viking project and is now in their avionics planning office, says we're in a new era, what he calls comparative planetology. Now, I know those are big words, but what it means is for the first time in the history of man, we can study Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn as a set and look at them all together and help us better understand the one we're living on. The spacecraft will eventually leave the solar system in the 1990s, perhaps to be captured thousands of years from now by men of another civilization on some distant star. It is the sort of magic and allure that draws men like Spitzer to such projects. If we knew the answers, we wouldn't go. And every time we think we have a better understanding of a phenomenon or something that we see on Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, we soon find out we don't understand it because we now have better data and we've got to refine our understanding, improve our understanding so that everything we know makes sense. The surprises are what you live for. Martha Graham, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Langley.